Hey guys, welcome to level 2 algebra skills playlist. We're going to be looking at algebraic fractions, uh, the second version of this. Now, if you just found this video randomly, uh, just go to my channel and go to the playlist for algebra level 2 skills, and uh, you will find videos prior to this video. But anyway, let's get started with this, um, looking at these three questions here. So, when you're actually combining uh, algebraic fractions, they work just as the same thing as numbers. Um, you just got to make the denominator the same before you actually combine them. Now a lot of people have, um, they kind of use the upside down barbecue here or the cross multiplication. It works really well when uh, you don't really have factors, but particularly if you look at question number three here, what happens is because you've got these, um, these two uh, algebraic expressions, if you do cross multiplication, you're going to end up with some really nasty, nasty numbers. So anyway, let's get started with question number one here. So number one, what we have is we've got 3 over x and 2 over x minus, uh, x minus 1. So what I generally tend to do is I write my two numbers together. And because I want to have x minus 1 as a denominator in both um, fractions, I'm going to multiply the left-hand side in the denominator by x minus 1 and the numerator by x minus 1. As for the right hand side, I need to have x in the denominator, so I'm going to multiply by x, and I'm also going to multiply by x in the numerator. So doing this, what I then can do is write everything over x multiplied by x minus 1, because that's now the denominator, and in the numerator I've got 3 multiplied by x minus 1 plus 2 times x. So expanding the quadratic, uh, not quadratic, expanding the brackets, I'm going to get 3x minus 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2x, and the whole thing is over x multiplied by x minus 1. So 3x plus 2x is 5x, so I'm going to get 5x minus 3 over x times x minus 1. Now you can actually leave the denominator without expanding it, so you can just leave it like that, that's fine. But if you want to expand it, that's also not a big problem. Now, you're probably wondering why I have given a second question which is almost as similar as the first one. But the only thing that you need to be careful with in the second question is this minus sign. Because a lot of people, what they do is they forget about that minus sign um, when they actually uh, do cross multiplication. And yeah, they just kind of end up messing it up. But I'll show you guys what you could do in this situation. So what we've got here is 4x minus 1 minus 2 times x plus 2. So in the denominator for the left-hand side, I need to multiply by x plus 2 and also the numerator by x plus 2. And on the right-hand side, I've got to multiply by x minus 1 and also x minus 1 in the numerator. So now what I tend to do is I put the x plus 2 and x minus 1 as one common denominator. So I can leave it as x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1. And then in the numerator, I've actually got... Uh, 4 times x plus 2 minus 2 times x minus 1. Now that's why it's a really useful thing to actually put this x minus 1 in a bracket because what's going to happen is this negative sign here uh, will actually have an impact on this negative 1. Okay, because it will change to a positive 2. And sometimes people actually forget it, and that's why they always... It's a, it's a common mistake that we see every year kids do. So, yeah, just something to keep in mind. So we expand the brackets. So we've got 4 times x and 4 times 2, which gives us 4x plus 8. And then we've got minus 2 times x and minus 2 times 1. So we've got minus 2x plus 2, and the whole thing is over x plus 2 times x minus 1. Now 4x minus 2x is 2x and then we've got 8 plus 2 which is 10 and now all of that is now over x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1. And that's basically how you do question number 2. So now we go to question number 3. Uh, with 3 there is something to be something to notice here. So and I guess if you guys look at it, is that x squared minus 16 can be written as x minus 4 and x plus 4. So this whole question, I'm going to rewrite this now as 1 over x minus 4 minus 2 over 
x minus 4 and x plus 4. And I'm hoping that you guys could actually see that um, for, we don't need to actually adjust anything in the right hand side because on the right hand side there is already an x minus 4. So the only thing we're going to need is um, the x plus 4. So we multiply the left hand side by x plus 4, the denominator, and also the numerator by x plus 4. So now we can say that in the denominator we're going to have x minus 4 and x plus 4 and we've got 1 times x plus 4 so that's just going to be x plus 4 minus 2 and so this simplifies to x plus 2 over x minus 4 and x plus 4. So just going back to those previous questions guys I know I kind of just stormed through it. Uh, if you go back to question number one we actually had x there in the denominator and we had x minus 1 in the denominator for the right hand side fraction. So we've got to actually multiply the opposites, well, the denominators, so that the denominators now end up being the same. And I think that's exactly what I did um, in this case as well. So x minus 1 and x plus 2. All right. That's basically it for this video guys. As always, don't forget to drop a like for this video and share this video. Subscribe to keep up with the latest content. There should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. A lot of good revision material there. Thank you for watching.